Hello everyone, and welcome to the episode of Amazing Humans. Today we are going to talk about Wim Hof, also known as the Iceman. He is a Dutch motivational speaker and extreme athlete who has set over two dozen world records for his incredible feats of endurance in the cold. How does he do it? And what can we learn from him? Let's find out. Wim Hof was born on April 20th, 1959 in Sittard, Limburg, Netherlands. He was one of nine children. He had a normal childhood until he experienced a personal tragedy when his first wife died by suicide in 1995. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia and Wim was left alone to raise their four children. He was devastated and searched for a way to cope with his grief and depression. He found his answer in the cold. He'd always been fascinated by the cold and had experimented with it since he was 17 when he felt a sudden urge to jump into the freezing water of a canal. He discovered that the cold made him feel alive and gave him a sense of control over his body and mind. He began to practice a method of breathing meditation, and cold exposure, which he later named the Wim Hof Method. The Wim Hof Method is based on three pillars, breathing, cold therapy, and commitment. The breathing technique involves powerful inhalation, relaxed exhalation, and prolonged breath holds, which increase the oxygen levels in the blood and stimulate the nervous system. Cold therapy involves exposing the body to low temperatures, which trigger a cascade of health benefits, such as improved circulation, reduced inflammation, enhanced mood, and increased metabolism. The commitment pillar is about having the focus and determination to master the body and mind and overcome any challenges. By using his method, Wim Hof has achieved some astonishing feats, such as number one, climbing Mount Everest and Mount Kilimanjaro, wearing only shorts and shoes. Number two, running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle, barefoot and in shorts. Number three, standing in a container filled with ice cubes for more than 112 minutes. Number four, swimming under the ice for 66 meters. Number five, hanging on one finger at an altitude of 2,000 meters. Number six, running a full marathon in the Namib desert without drinking any water. But how exactly does he do these things? Let's take a closer look at some of the methods he uses. One of the core techniques of the Wim Hof method is the breathing exercise. It consists of three steps. Step one, take in a strong inhalation through the nose. Step two, let out a relaxed exhalation through the mouth. Step three, repeat for 30 breaths. On the 30th breath, exhale to 90% and hold for as long as you can. When you feel your body needs to take a breath, inhale fully and hold for 15 seconds before releasing. The basic technique involves three consecutive rounds of the above. Eventually, the breathing may feel like a wave flowing through your lungs, but this will take practice. Many people primarily use the top of their lungs when they inhale, leading to mostly shallow breaths. In Wim Hof's breathing, the diaphragm is engaged and the lower lungs are filled. The belly should protrude on the inhalation and flatten on the exhalation. This breathing technique has several effects on the body. First, it increases the oxygen levels in the blood, which allows the cells to produce more energy and function more efficiently. Second, it stimulates the nervous system, which regulates the heart rate, blood pressure, and other vital functions. Third, it releases endorphins and opioids, which are natural painkillers and mood enhancers. Fourth, it alkalizes the blood, which means it reduces the acidity and balances the pH levels. This makes the body more resistant to stress and disease. Another key technique of the Wim Hof method is cold therapy. It involves exposing the body to low temperatures, such as cold showers, ice baths, or outdoor activities in winter. Cold therapy has several benefits for the body. First, it improves circulation, which means more blood and oxygen reach the organs and tissues. Second, it reduces inflammation, which is the root cause of many chronic diseases and pain. Third, it enhances the mood, as the cold stimulates the production of dopamine and serotonin, which are neurotransmitters that make us feel happy and motivated. Fourth, it increases the metabolism, which means the body burns more calories and fat. Cold therapy also trains the body to adapt to different environments and stressors. By exposing the body to the cold, the body learns to activate its heating system, which is called thermogenesis. Thermogenesis is the process of generating heat from within the body using either the muscles or the brown fat. Brown fat is a special type of fat that is rich in mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cells. Brown fat can burn calories and produce heat very efficiently, and it is activated by the cold. By practicing cold therapy regularly, the body can increase its brown fat and its thermogenesis, 
which makes it more resilient and efficient. The third and final technique of the Wim Hof method is commitment. This is about having the focus and determination to master the body and mind and overcome any challenges. The commitment is essential for practicing breathing and cold therapy, as they require discipline and courage. The commitment also helps to develop a positive mindset, which is crucial for achieving any goal in life. By committing to the Wim Hof method, you are committing to yourself, to your health, and your happiness. But Wim Hof is not just a daredevil. He's also a pioneer of science. He has participated in several scientific studies that have shown that his method can influence the autonomic nervous system and the immune system, which were previously thought to be beyond voluntary control. He has also shown that his method can improve mental health, stress resilience, and physical performance. One of the most famous studies was conducted by Radboud University in the Netherlands in 2014. The researchers injected Wim Hof and 12 of his trained followers with an endotoxin, a substance that normally causes fever, headache, and nausea. However, by using the Wim Hof method, they were able to suppress the inflammatory response and the symptoms while producing more anti-inflammatory mediators and less pro-inflammatory mediators. This was a remarkable finding, as it suggested that the Wim Hof method could potentially help people with conditions associated with excessive or persistent inflammation, such as autoimmune diseases. Another study was conducted by Wayne State University in the US in 2018. The researchers scanned Wim Hof's brain while he was exposed to cold water and found that he activated areas in the brain associated with pain suppression, self-reflection, and well-being, in particular the periaqueductal gray area, which is involved in the release of endorphins and opioids. This indicated that Wim Hof was able to use his mind to induce a stress response that helped him resist the effects of cold. This could have implications for people who suffer from chronic pain, anxiety, or depression. Wim Hof's mission is to share his method and his message with as many people as possible. He believes that anyone can learn his method and benefit from it. He has taught thousands of people through his online courses, workshops, and retreats. He has also inspired many celebrities, athletes, and influencers, such as Gwyneth Paltrow, Tom Cruise, Orlando Bloom, Laird Hamilton, and Joe Rogan. Wim Hof is a living example of what the human body and mind are capable of. He challenges us to explore our potential, and to reconnect with ourselves, with others, and with nature. He is truly an amazing human. Thank you for watching this episode of Amazing Humans. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please join our Telegram channel for regular updates. Until next time, stay cool and breathe deeply. Bye.